Welcome back. Moving right along in this lesson, another very important lecture. I'm going to demonstrate the concept and also apply that concept called constraints. So again, very important, very fundamental. If you can master this particular area within Figma, app design will be a breeze. Okay, so you should be able to create these apps in no time. And again, the concept here again is constraints. So it's very similar to components. Okay, so let's dive right in and let me show you what that is. So I'm going to go ahead first and open up a blank file or a new file. Okay, by clicking on the plus sign here on the menu bar. Once I have the file open, I'm going to go ahead and click on my frame tool and select iPhone X, which brings me the blank frame on my canvas. I'm going to next go ahead and create our menu bar here. So just a rectangle, so to speak. Okay, that's all I'm doing. We've done this before, so you should be pretty comfortable with this. Let me zoom in. There we go. Okay. Let me also change the color here quick. Perfect. So let's say you have this iPhone X frame, right? And you've created a first menu bar or rectangle essentially with blue color. Let me show you what constraints are and where to find them. If I were to select my frame, notice on the design tab, I can of course change the properties, right? And we've been through it. If I were to select the rectangle, on the right side, I see an area that's called constraints. Okay, so I'm talking about this particular section. So what constraints are, essentially, think of them as the object on to the frame itself, like the iPhone XX, we have an object called a rectangle, right, a layer it constrains itself to the actual frame. Okay, let me repeat that. So this rectangle here that we just drew is going to contain itself, constrain itself rather, to the actual frame of iPhone XX. What that means is if I were to, let's just select my frame here and expand the frame, notice on the right side, my menu rectangle is not adjusted whereas on the left side right notice it is adjusted and the reason is that because this is constrained to the left that's my first property it is also constrained to the top so if I select the frame notice it's constrained to the top right okay what happens, let me select the rectangle again, if I choose another option, but first let me close the frame here, so adjust it back to its original size, there we go. Select the rectangle again, so the constraints show up. The options that I have other are right side, left and right, center or scale. So the only important thing here for you to remember is the only option scale will be in percentage. The other options, left, right, left and right and center, will be in sizes of pixels, 375 by 54. So if you choose a scale constraint, then you have to specify the percentages. That's the only difference. So you cannot remember that. But right now, let's take a look at the basic functionality of how constraints work. If I were to constrain this particular rectangle right the menu option left and right notice the three blue lines appear so now I can select my frame here and if I expand notice my menu expands with it pretty cool okay so now I can adjust the size and my menu is not shortened it actually increases along with the actual size of the iPhone X frame and the reason is because I've constrained it on three sides, left and right, and on top. I can do top and bottom, so it's going to constrain all fours, okay? So I'm going to come back to the bottom later on. Right now, I'm just going to show you the three sides, right? So it makes sense. Good. Let's move right along. 
So now I have both constraints left and right. This is my right side and then this is my left side. And of course I have the top two. Perfect. Let's go down. Let's say we create another rectangle here. And this will be for our footer. Okay. And let's give it a color, maybe a different color. Perfect. So this particular rectangle in our footer area is again by default constrained to top and left. So once again, if I were to select this, let me in fact make it smaller so you can see the entire image, right? So if I were to increase, notice my footer does not increase because it is constrained only to left and top, right? Left and then top side. But if I were to constrain this footer to left and right, so now it should both work perfectly fine. Awesome. So you get the idea of how powerful these constraints are. Okay. So when designing your app, you need to kind of make sure you understand what these are. Otherwise, you'll be adjusting each screen differently and it'll be a nightmare eventually because you'll have hundreds and hundreds of layers depending on the complexity of the app design. So just wanted to demonstrate how constraints work. So as a homework, you are going to go ahead and work with the bottom constraints as well, okay, or the center or other options. So that way you can practice working with these constraints. So I've shown you the basic idea, the concept, and also demonstrated the concept. Now you can kind of practice on these. And if you have any questions, feel free to post and discuss with other students and myself as well in the discussion area. So powerful tool, the constraints in Figma. Hope this helps. Practice and let's move to the next lesson.